BRB. Hey. Yeah, real quick. Huh? Put your hands up real quick. No. Just real quick, man. No. Why? Why? You, real quick. you want to search me for something. No, I'm not going to search you. You just put your hands down if I'm searching. Why do you want my hands up then? Just real quick. No, Randy, we need to talk. Yeah, just say it real quick. No. Sit in. Boy, you gonna dip? No, sit with me. Alright. Why did you want to... Why do you want my hands up, then? I was gonna yunk your shoes so you, you were the same height again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty much it, to be honest. I was just fucking around. Take my shoes. <laughs> Can you stop laughing? Oh, sorry. How much do these shoes cost you? It's not funny. What the fucking... <laughs> God damn, were you a baseball player back in the day? Why are you being nice? Sheesh! I've I had a talk with a few people and... Oh, feel... trust me, I know, I know. I had a... I'm clear-headed, I feel pretty clear. Not a few clear. people, a lot of people. Not a lot. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you feel clear in the head, man. <sighs> we need to talk, Randy. So where are you going if we need to talk? Away from your rumbling car. It's so damn loud. Can you shut your car off? It's not that loud. I, I literally it it's gargling. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right. Why are you mad at me? First of all, I thought you'd be, hey, you know, more I'll apologetic. Clean slate. Huh? No, no, no. I'll be real. All right. When I called you that one day when you're in the car or whatever, where you were, mm. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have fucking said fuck you, Ray, and I shouldn't have. Uh... Yeah, that was insane, Randy. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. I shouldn't have fucking instigated it, and I shouldn't have, uh... What'd you call it? I told you to go fuck yourself and shit, because, I mean, end of the day... I mean... I do believe you have my back. I don't think you would use me to get another guy. I... Okay, if I'm gonna be honest, Randy, if anything, I was using other guys to get to you. Okay? That's fucking bullshit. It's okay. not bullshit, and you fucking know it. You actually know, and... Hmm. You really hurt me that day. <laughs> like, really hurt me. Really, really hurt me. And I realized something. Like, what? You were my day one. And I realized yeah. just because I'm your day one doesn't mean it's vice versa. Like, you have so many other connections in the city. Like this Lexi girl, mm. right? I just. I think I'm too dependent on you. Like, you're. I don't know. You're too important to me. I don't want to lose you, and I especially don't want to be on different pages about, you know, whatever the fuck this has been. I mean, listen, the whole petty war, all of that stuff, that was obviously, I, I, mean, I mean, that was just for fun, right? Just fucking yeah, around with each know, other. Yeah, we, we, fuck, we, we just get time. along so well. Mm. The thing is, all right? Today, you obviously had a problem with me. And I know technically I didn't do the same shit. And I should have came to you and I should have talked to you about the whole Lexi situation. But you got to understand that you beat down Lexi with a hammer. No, I... All right? Okay. First of all, she... It's not even about any of you or whatever. It's the principle of her talking shit blatantly. Not to just fuck around, but blatantly to hurt me. No, I don't even no. know this... No, Randy. And it's she not did true. hurt. What are you saying? Is not true. It it's is because, true. Because you know why? You how believed about you her. Me from my side. I heard your side when you called me you cussing didn't. me out that night. You didn't hear my side. What happened was? Don't gaslight me, Lexi. You fuck. I'm not gaslighting yes, anyone. This is actually the truth. You don't even come talk to me and you say I'm gaslighting you. I called you. That's why you ain't gonna talk to me like that. All right, relax. Number two. I fucked up because I didn't 
I went off for emotion rather than, you know, actually sitting down, thinking about it and talking to you. That's where I fucked up. It is my fault, right? This whole situation is my fault because I came at you like sideways when I shouldn't have. You are like a close friend to me. You do mean a lot to me and I care about you. The thing is, I was in the car with Lexi. We were just chilling, talking, right? And she was talking to me about Flippy and Claire like dating and shit because uh, Flippy and Claire, I mean, Flippy and Lexi, they used to date, right? So mm -hmm. I thought, you know, I'd throw in, hey, Lexi, you know, there's this Raymond girl, right? And she's super pissed at me. I don't really know why. And then I brought up, like, everything that happened between us, right? And she told me, like, from my point of view, I don't know if this is true, but it seems like uh, there's two things happening. Either Ray likes you and she's trying to make other guys jealous, or she's using you to get other guys. So I was like, okay, there's no way she fucking likes me like that, because she's always fucking, like, fuck with me and shit. So I assumed that, you know, number two made more sense. And Lexi even told me that, like, may not be true but that's what it seems like from my point of view now i brought up to lexi she wasn't talking shit to you she wasn't doing anything like that but the problem is you went to the boys first you went to rami who fucking hates the angels and uh i mean they're telling me that you you're the one who instigated it and yeah they did back you a little bit and but they agreed with lexi k didn't even think you should have beat her down but you i mean k i mean k and rami both told me they felt like you were using me and they started a whole operation called ftb called for the boys because they feel like i guess the girls in the city are using us like me rami and all that and they were kind of losing the core like you know values of cg which is loyalty right i literally I spoke... i had the longest conversation with rami and Vinny and curtis today talking about loyalty and how much they were hyping me up they encouraged me to hit they her. encouraged you to do yes, it yes i'm they um, told me they didn't, and they did it a little bit, a tiny bit, but it was all you. Why are they saying that? I'm so sad. They, they... This shit really fucked up, man. I can't what? hear you. Can you I hear can't me hear now? you. Can you hear me properly or not? I can hear you. I promise you on everything, and I'm not going to lie to you, right? I never lie to you. Okay, and don't think this whole... Now, what is like, it? Violet Monday? situation was me lying, okay? Listen. I'm going to a little bit, a tiny bit. But this was all your idea, and you're the one who fucked her up because you were pissed. But it, to me, it seems like you... Like, why would you not come to me before you went to them? It makes no fucking sense. If you had a problem with what Lexi did, at least find out the full story rather than reacting on what you know so far. And I did the same thing. Don't get me wrong. Ramsey, I, I talked to you and Lexi on the phone. I got my no, full you story. Didn't. You yes, didn't even I... sound fucking straight. What? You didn't sound right yeah, in the head I when was we were talking. A little, I was a little drunk. But exactly. I also talked to Tommy and the stories are just not lining up. I just I can't just let this So you spoke to Tommy, you spoke to fucking Lexi, you spoke to the I guess CG before you spoke to me. Yeah. And then the base of everything you reacted and you fucked her up. Now listen, I, I don't have like let me give you some backstory on Lexi, right? She's part of the angels. And they ain't like yeah. I was one of the uh I mean, okay, you know what I do best in the city? My best is helping others thrive and start up, right? And just like you, you know how I helped you out? I helped the angels out when they were start, like a starting gang. There was no girl gang. Stand still. <laughs> there was no girl gang in the city. There was no like real like girls that would step up and kind of do their thing. You know what I mean? So there was a group that formed called the angels. And I, me and like, you know, Wayne, you remember Wayne? Yeah. Wag one man, kill a man. Yeah, him. <laughs> we uh we we led them we helped them out we took them to vaults we took them to robberies we you know took them to training courses kind of like what i did with you and sort of uh you know built them up and then brought them to their feet and then they did some crazy shit on their own like i was there in the start helping them and you know i i, I mean i didn't build it but like i was there to kick side you know what i'm saying like help them out because i've always kind of been the one who i mean uh I don't know, like, I can do it, so why not teach other people how to do it, you know? So I helped them out, and uh, they've always been, like, close to me. And, uh, you know, I'm, like, an honorary, quote-unquote, angel member. And I guess you didn't know all of this. And, yeah, that's why, like, this, like, Lexi, like, I fuck with her. I have her back. It's nothing like what you think it is. It's not like I'm fucking in love with her or, like, I have... I mean, it's fine if you were. It's her not back like that, you. Randy. No, I know, but I'm just telling you, I'm giving you backstory on, like... 
who Lexi is and why I would go to her about this sort of situation. Because, I mean, end of the day, can I be real with you? Relationships and friendships. Yeah, I know. That's why... I've... That's also why I wanted to talk to you today. And... I don't know, the fact that you went to all of them and you fucked her up and then you still didn't even tell me. I tried calling you, you didn't answer. Multiple times. I tried to... Yeah, but after you did it, right? I literally took me till now to get your attention. I tried to call oh, you. true. Yes, it is, Randy. I, I tried... I picked up and you, you were busy with Eugene. I said, do your thing. Randy, I... I was trying, I, like, that was one of my priorities today, was to talk to you. Clearly not, because you spoke to, like, 20 different people before. You don't understand. Like, I literally, I got arrested. The first thing, when I woke up, and... Yeah, you know the... why you got arrested? It was a setup by Mr. K. What? What? This is Operation FTB. Huh? For the boys. Where they're going after everyone's quote-unquote significant other. And I guess you're, <laughs> you were mine. And uh, the plan was to get the Randy body pillow, make you fucking like, you know, not fuck with me, but like, just, you know, distance us. And then, you know, we're back to normal. Like how we were like a few weeks ago. And I guess, uh, I guess they took the body pillow. Yeah, off they you did. They I have. spent like an hour they, trying to get it back. And they threw it away in like a dustbin or they something. They threw it away? Yeah, that's just gone. And then Gunner got suspended. They lied saying they came. Oh, sorry, sorry. They ejaculated all over it. And uh, they, <laughs> you know, quote unquote, had intercourse with it. And like, basically I'm saying is they fucked the shit out of the pillow. They put holes into it, jizzed all over it. And then they <laughs> threw it away. But that was a cover up. They actually just threw it in the bin. I, I try so hard to get it back. That's crazy that it was just a, a setup that whole time. It was called Operation FTB, where they go after, like, not go after, but, like, but, split, like you yeah, know, go after like, that you, April, Claire. You, April, Claire. Um, who else was it? Fuck. Oh, Penny from, uh, you know. What's his name? Curtis's uh, side and all that shit. This is, this is how CG treats... No, family, I don't... Huh? No, this I don't is think it so was like... weird. Like, I was fed laxatives and shit outside the PD from Gunner. You shot on him? No, I shit myself, man. What? Yeah, he fed me laxatives. He, he cuffed me, Why? left me in the parking lot. He was fucking me. He told me to stay away from Randy Bullet, stole my body pillow. I was there for like an hour with Vinny, trying to get it back. Well, that makes sense. Stay away from Randy Bullet, right? Yeah. I um I don't, I don't really know I, I how don't to think... take that. Honestly, it feels really scummy. That's so weird. I mean, I don't think Kay's intentions were to like. You know what else it is? I guess I feel like more people talk about me and you than me and you talk about like this shit. Yeah. And the problem is, everyone, like, even, like, I fuck with Taco, but Taco, Garrett, Claire, like, they're all instigating the fuck out of it, and it's turning into something it shouldn't have even have turned into. Yeah, I just talked to Taco, and I asked him the day when you were mad at me, like, why he was only there for you and not me, and he said that he wasn't on anyone's side, he was just He wasn't there for me, instigating. you know what he was telling me? Your girl got yoinked, bro, your girl got yoinked, have a fucking good one, you look dumb as fuck, your girl got yoinked by Tommy T, which honestly pissed me the fuck off even more. That's the only thing he would tell me, and the only thing he would text me. Everything hurts. <laughs> Holy shit. I did not expect that whole PD thing to be as... To be a, just a... A setup. I mean, I don't think it was like... I don't think uh, his intentions were to like disrespect you or anything. I think he was just he trying to... He literally... They all looked me in the eyes, and were all gassing me up to hit Lexi. Okay, so he, all... he, 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 don't, he doesn't think you should have hit Lexi. I don't get why they're telling me to my face I should. This is so you know weird. It's not them, but like... I, feel like what? I don't know. I feel like most people... 
I don't get why they would do this to me. I'm so confused. I literally spent so much of today with them. Just for them to lie to me like this, it's so weird. Uh, I mean, I feel like, I don't know, maybe, I think I feel like a lot of people in this city, and I mean, I was in the Polito Bank, right? And I felt like everyone was against me. K wouldn't talk to me. Rami went off with K to do her own shit, and like behind, you know how I know this is true? Because Gunner and, so I was with Rami chilling, right? And then they, K called Rami up and told her, meet me outside the VU. And I was just chilling there, and then K started acting like super weird like um yo i told you something did you forget kind of like hinting that i shouldn't have been there then rami told me oh kate told me to come alone so i just did but gunner and copper were there i mean i don't know what kind of gang is this it doesn't really feel like a family <laughs> I no, I... cg is the biggest family around i don't think their intentions were to really they're just lying to you and saying that i i beat the fuck out of Lexi by myself, like, as if they weren't all there encouraging me. No, they said, okay, Rami told me that. He said, quote unquote, he instigated a little bit, but he actually likes Lexi and he fucks with her the most out of all the angels, is what he told me. And then Word they, for word. Uh, and then he said, yeah, but your family will do anything for you. We'll, we got your back. And, but they're talking shit behind me. This is so... They're not talking shit, because I think they did have your back. But apparently you didn't tell them that I was involved. What? I did. I explained the whole situation. What Rami the said fuck? you didn't know I was involved. Fuck Rami. What <laughs> the fuck is this, man? It this I'm, is actually, I'm saying word for word what Rami told me. He told me, yeah, bullet Randy, points, he, he I fucked with Lexi you. the most out of all the angels. He told me he instigated a little bit and he told me he didn't know I was involved. That's why he went along with it. That's word for word. And now Claire called me and she's so mad. And now I don't even have the boys backing me up. <laughs> this is so fucked. I just wanted... I was so hyped up. They had... They were literally there and... I did what they said and I was... I thought... This is so fucked. I don't even know what to do with Claire. She was so emotional about it. She hung up on me. I couldn't even explain. What did you tell Claire that you have a crush on me? What did Claire tell you? I don't know. I don't remember talking to Claire about that. Are you lying? That's what Claire told me. Does it matter now? I mean, wouldn't it always matter? I don't know. I don't know, Randy. I think, um... I think at this point, I just kind of want to be alone, and, um... I don't know. Like, I don't- I- I don't want to lose you, but... And I trust you. You're, like, one of the people I trust most in the city, but I feel like I'm too dependent on you, and... After today, <laughs> I was feeling so good! I told them, I, I told them I was on, you know, they, they had my back and everything. They were hyping me up, saying that I deserve to have the CG chain, that I deserve to be part of the family. And this is just hurting me so much right now. I mean, I found all of this information out today, like just now. Yeah, yeah, this is, it's wild because <laughs> how they were acting in front of me was so different. And it turns out that whole PD theme was a scam. That's insane to me. I, I give up. I think. I I'll be think honest with I you. I feel up. like every time I've been with you and we've hung out and shit. I mean, I don't feel like I've hinted that I want to date you or anything. I feel like we've just been doing our thing and just. Yeah, we we fuck with each I don't other. Know. Yeah, I, Listen, like I'm not. Randy, okay. If I'm gonna be honest, I. Yeah, I did start developing feelings for you, but. I, I'm aware that, you know, if something bad were to happen, I think it would hurt more losing you. So that, I guess that's kind of why we've been kind of fucking with each other in that way. I guess. I don't want to lose you. Like, you're important to me. And that's more valuable to me than... I don't know. And obviously it's affecting CG. 
I don't want to affect CG. Like, I just got hired by Vinny. The last thing I want to do is him talking shit behind my back. Vinny! Wait, what did Vinny do? Uh, Vin I don't know. I, did he say anything today to you? Was he part of that play? Because he was at the PD trying to get the body pillow back for me too for like 45 minutes. Um... I It would hurt the most if Vinny was also the one that planned this scam. No one's. I don't, they're not talking shit it about just, you. No one's talking it was shit. Just Mr. K and Rami. No one. No one. I don't. No one was talking shit. I don't know where you got that. They just were planning that whole FDB thing. Give me one second. Hey, yo. All right. Uh, fuck. I'm talking to her right now. Give me like five minutes, maybe. All right. We can have the combo there. All right. All right. Wait. You crying? Yeah, this fucking sucks. I feel so bad. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, listen. They didn't. I mean, I don't think they and shit. Now Claire hates anything. me. You know, like I don't even know this Lexi girl. I don't know why this is happening to me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, hmm. <laughs> Can you go with me to talk to Claire, please? And Lexi, please? Yeah, let me, listen, I can sort everything out between you, Claire, and Lexi, I, no problem, because it I was wanna, on me. I, I just wish you came out. to me first. I, I tried came... to call you, Randy. You were the first person I wanted to talk you to today. You, was I the first person you called today? No. I'm sorry. It's not, listen, end of the day, I think a lot of things were miscommunicated. Yeah. A shit ton of things. I feel like our petty war kind of turned somewhat serious, which led to, not serious, but it led to people, like, they found an opportunity to realize, oh, look, they're being paid towards each other. Now let's kind of, like, stir shit up, talk shit, yeah. speak for us, and turn it into something it's not. Listen, end of the day, I, I fuck with you heavy. I, yeah, Randy. I'm just not. I'm just not a good guy, like a good enough guy, to like date. You know what I mean? And I don't think you should ever look at me as like a boyfriend or like someone like that. I'm I definitely like don't want to date you. You're a you're a fuck boy. You smell. I'm, how am you're I a an fuck asshole. Boy? You're literally so mature, and I know I can do better. Okay, I just you know. I you really say dumb shit like that while we're being serious. If you're actually, if you serious. actually being that, I will leave right now. I right, what? You can go, okay, you can't, then you can go. You can't get mad at me for telling saying? the truth. What the fuck? How? Uh, you literally what? just said I deserve better, you're and you're right. Listen, Ooh, I go get better. Then what the fuck are you on about? Oh, you're mad at me. You're you're trying to end things like that, and I agree with you. And you're mad, huh? I'm just saying, bro. Like I ain't a good guy in terms of fucking like uh, yeah, bro. I'm aware of it, shit. bro. I I'm aware, bro. Listen, all right, you're my favorite person in this whole damn city, okay? I, oh, shit, man. Fuck it's... off, man. You can't tell me all that shit saying I'm a fuckboy. I smell all this shit. I'm okay. immature and then go to that. Like, you what? You don't smell. I was fucking with you, like how we always do. All nah, right? this thing, don't fuck around, like, right now. I have, all times, I'll be honest, just don't fuck around now. You know, maybe humor is what is helping me cope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't, like, don't disrespect me like that, especially now, right? Fuck you, Randy. I'm saying fuck you too like that. It's a fucking joke! Did I not just tell you to be fucking serious for once? I've been serious this whole time! What the fuck are you doing? Why are you trying to escalate this? Because uh, I'm done with this shit, to be honest. It feels like the whole sea was against me, but now, like, things are opening up. So what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? I'm sorry. Huh? Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have poked at you right now. I understand you're trying to have fun and shit, but now it's like... You fuck, like, you didn't fuck anything up, but like... Now the angels are pissed, like, boys are like, what the fuck's going on? Like... You... Huh. I mean, the boys are waiting for us to have a meeting, our little soul. About what? 
the gang, I guess. I don't know if I really want to go. You can go. Why not? I, I mean... <laughs> Why would they? Or why would I after they treated me like that? They didn't talk shit, right? From my point of view, what they told me, I got. Well, I mean, it's a little bit. But obviously, I told you all of this. You know what I mean? Like, I... I don't know. Okay. So I should just pretend like that whole PG thing never happened? What? Well, Do what you want in the, the day. I'm, like... If you don't want to rely... Like, you don't have to rely on me, but like you're your own person, you know, do your own thing. If you want to, like, you know, I know, like, go separate ways and do it, bro. Like, I mean, what do you want me to do? I helped you out, now you can go blossom, I guess. You confuse me, man. How do I confuse you? I don't know. You just seem so hard. You're the one coming here. You're the one coming here telling me, oh, I rely on you too much. I'm too dependent on you. This and the third. What am I supposed to do from that? I mean, nothing. And that, to me, just seems like you just had enough of me. So, I mean, do, like, do your thing, you know? <sighs> All right. Um... You can go to the meeting. All right, I'll see you there, right? I'm not gonna go. To the Why? I just don't really know what to. I don't know. You just seem different. How oh, am I different? Just the way you're talking to me. You've never talked to me like this before. I mean, you're just so. Like, you feel so distant, <laughs> even though you're right here. It's weird. Everyone, you should go to the meeting. You should go to the meeting and go clear things up with them as well. Stand up for yourself. Tell them, like, what the fuck is going on? Why would you set me up like that? Why don't like, you, end of the day, you are still you, all right? Okay. Go, go to that meeting. Let's go to that meeting. You stand up for yourself. And I'll make sure nothing happens to you either, right? No one's going to hurt you or anything. Just go to that meeting. Let's figure shit out. Okay. Let's be mature about this and solve it, right? Okay? Yeah, I'll meet you there. <laughs>